everybody, welcome back to Everyday Fifty Living. I'm Cass Odie's here as always. Hi y'all. And if you're new to the channel, please stick around, hit the subscribe button, click the bell to be notified every time we upload a video. And today we have, well, I mean, kind of part two, not really part two, but I'm actually doing a little cuticle oil review video for you guys today. So today I will be reviewing the Sally Hansen Cuticle Rehab. So it's right here, Cuticle Rehab. Looks like an X right there. Anyway, I got People this. Actually, uh... Put oil in the cuticle. Right here. Right I, well, I know you do. You, you, yes. Like so that. anyway, so this I got off of Amazon for seven dollars and sixteen cents, and I will probably insert the current and most latest this is price. So you can get this pretty much anywhere. You can get this off of Amazon, Target, Walmart, Walgreens, Ulta, CVS, basically anywhere that will sell a Sally Hansen product, you will find this. So this is very, very easily, readily available. Easily. Yeah. So anyway, so this is supposed to help restore severe dry ragged cuticles. That's what it says. So it's 6.8 milliliters, 0.29 fluid ounces. And it comes in a package like this with that type of gross applicator. Yes, I know. It's gotten really gross. So I've been using it for several months now. And long story short, I have not seen any true improvement on my nails. I've been using this at night before I go to bed because it, it, it's kind of, it smells, first of all. It has a fragrance to it. So what is, so this is the description right here. So it's a brush on gel that rescues rundown nails, rundown cuticles and nails, and it is infused with vitamin E, a conditioning gel formula, smooth, softens, and helps restore uh, the cuticles while helping to reduce nail breakage. Now, why would someone have run down cuticles? I don't know what that means. Run down. Run, run down. down. Do you run? Are you? Do you pop out at parties? Are you unpopular? Uh, run over. I don't know. So the results they say are supposed to have healthier looking, intensely moisturized, and smooth cuticles. I've not really seen that. So I'm going to go through the entire ingredient list to show you what's good and what's bad, basically. So the first big ingredient in this is the safflower seed oil which is a great oil loaded with nourishing and moisturizing fatty acids. It's a great nail oil, great ingredient. Uh, next is sunflower seed oil, which is, again, another great oil. has tons of fatty acids. It helps protect the surface of the skin and enhances the damaged or irritated skin barrier. And then we have a whole bunch of other stuff. And then we come to an ingredient that I'm not particularly happy that to see in a product like this. Don't tell me. Formaldehyde. No. Oh, okay. Funny. Uh, a lot of nail stuff has that. Uh, mineral oil. Not a huge fan of seeing mineral oil in something like this. While it is technically a great emollient and moisturizer, it can really do stuff to the skin. Um, it doesn't really penetrate the skin, nor does it really nourish it. And to me, it just makes it more greasier. So I just I'm not a big fan of mineral oil for that reason. And then another great another great ingredient is the rice bran oil. It has um, Oriza sativa, which is, again, another great ingredient, another great nail oil, more fatty acids, and it has vitamin E, which is one of the standard great ingredients for the skin. And then it has Persia gratissima, which is avocado oil, which to me is the best oil for the nails. It has, it's highly moisturizing. It has amazing skin penetration abilities, contains vitamins A, E, and D, so it is just packed with so this, I hope, I would have liked to have seen avocado oil up a little more. Mm -hmm. uh, so it also contains sesame seed oil, which is, again, another great oil, which helps repair and regenerate dry skin. And wrap, it is wrap, you can, it whoop, rapidly absorbs and it gives the skin a soft and dental feel. And that's pretty much like it in terms of the ingredients, at least for me. But it does contain fragrance. It does contain linalool, limonene. Lino, and it does contain jasmine flower extract and rosa alba flower extract. So it does contain a lot of fragrance. So that's the one drawback to an ingredient yeah, like um, this. So a lot of stuff is chemicals. Yeah. So it does it does contain a lot of um, run down. You're already run down uh, cuticles. So it does contain a lot of preservatives to maintain uh, this. Thing, which I actually like the component. I like this and I like that, but I guess the mineral helps it be all gloopy. What's the purpose of cuticles anyway? I don't know. It helps grow the nails out or something. Helps really? it helps the nails out or something. No, you know. When I was a teenager in my twenties, 
Never once thought about my cuticles. Never. <laughs> if I went to get a manicure or something, then I would notice that, hey, she's pushing back something there. But I never looked and go, oh, my cuticles are so dry. <laughs> so overall, it's not a product that I would recommend. I feel like whenever I use any type of product like this, especially with oils or anything, I always feel the need to keep replenishing. I keep doing it over and over and over and over and over, like 20, 30 times a day. I don't know why. For some reason, I have issues probably. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah so, so overall, like I said, not, not, something, Phil. not something I would recommend in terms of. Especially 20 or 30 times a day. No, no. It's <laughs> nothing I would recommend. The smell is okay, but it definitely has that floral smell. And a lot wow. of people just don't want the floral smell mm, wow. next to the. Especially if you're working with your hands or you're doing this or anything. You're near the computer and you can smell it wafting up into the air up to your nose. Yeah. So. Yeah, you, you don't want it wafting. <laughs> So that's it. I mean, it's an okay product. Something not something I would recommend. Not something what I would. This is definitely trying to say is that if sucked. anybody's looking for a good cuticle no, oil, don't use or this cream. That there are many more, much better than this. So yes. don't waste your money. Don't waste your money. Exactly what she said. There are better products out there. I'm sure there are, and I'm going to try and find them. I'm try and find but them. But if you insist on wasting your money, then just send it to me. <laughs> okay. And that's it. So let me know down below, uh, have you ever tried the Sally Hansen uh, cuticle rehab? Did it work for you? Did it not work for you? Because I feel like when you start using products like this, you have to continuously use them probably for six to eight to ten months, even up to a year to see any real change in the nails. So who has the time? Who has the time for that? And nobody got time for that. Yeah, nobody come got on, time you for spend that. this amount of money to be like, come on, come on, get it, come on, get it, come on, come on. Come on. So yeah, so let me know down below if you guys ever use anything like this. Um, let me know on any other keto oil products. I mean, I want I want to try them all, review them all, and try them all. I got ten fingers. I could do one on each finger. Comments finger. down below. Let me know how much you'll be sending me. That kind of stuff. I could do one on each thing. One, 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 one. Send your send your P O box. <laughs> all right. Have a great day. Have a great week. We'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye. Bye. Everybody.